give me a touch right here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. I'm still joined by Sami Gitai here and the director of youth and innovation at the Kenya Rugby Union. We call him Mwalim Kikechi Kombo, who is here with us to talk about the big match that has actually kicked off right now, one minute in between Cabras Sugar RFC versus KCB RFC. Big match that everyone is waiting for outside there, Mwalim. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's now the time of the year where uh, yeah. Kenya Cup, we've had a, a very difficult season, but now it's good that uh, they're playing the finals and people yes. have been waiting. Mm -hmm. And uh, fans for the two teams actually they are also waiting to see which team will match the, the best yeah. under uh, this uh, difficult con condition. Yeah. But uh, teams have played and we've seen how they have been played. Though there were stoppages, uh, the league was going on a few weeks uh, without rugby because of uh, the restriction and protocol of COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, but, initial, but finally, things mm -hmm. have come to the end of uh, the, the year 2021. Uh, big one yes. going down there in uh, Nandi Bears. Two of Kenya's biggest teams in rugby at the moment, Cabras and KCB. Some, defensively, all of them are good. Offensively, all of them are good. Where do you think it will be won between these two sides? Well, actually, on my way, I was listening to the assistant manager, Abimana yeah. for Cabras, who was talking, yes. and he said that the only edge where they think they have against KCB is in their defense. Mm -hmm. And in the break, I was looking at the stats, mm -hmm. where in the last 11 matches, Cabras has only considered 100 points. Mm -hmm. And then ACB in the last 11 matches has considered 164. Yes. I don't know whether that's testament to what he was saying mm -hmm. about Cabras having a better defense. Probably mm -hmm. maybe you could explain that to us if that's the case, really, because it seems that Cabras has that edge in defense. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well do you are saying uh, Cabras have really invested in the um, high performance. Yes. And uh, that's where they have, uh, they, they have strengthened uh, their defense uh, when, for the matches that I've watched them play uh, yes. uh, this season. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what, what I normally say about the final, final is anybody's game. Mm -hmm. And uh, it can go either, either side. It depends on how the coach has organized uh, uh, his players on how the, 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 the coordination uh, with the play, how it will be. Yes. Um, uh, because also look at sometimes when uh, South Africa played against England in the finals, where South Africa, were, England had known that they were going to win after beating uh, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. But uh, they ended up losing with a big margin. It was um, unbelievable. Yes. So when you look at this particular match, um, the uh, Cabras versus KCB. Well, mm -hmm. uh, it, so it depends on how our attack and how you also be able to kind of uh, play around with the, the, the mind game. Mm -hmm. Because if you get the penalty every time you go ahead yes. uh, you, with the penalties and you get that penalty, you convert, you, mm -hmm. you have your kickers, okay. Yes. You find that now you also be able to trade and put the other team under pressure. As mm -hmm. much as the other team might be good uh, in terms of um, uh, play, but you see now, every time you go ahead, it's yes. about a win. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you also come and uh, weaken the, 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 the mental strength of the other team and you end up winning. Because sometimes that's what coaches use to disorientate yes. uh, the rhythm of the other players mm -hmm. or uh, the other team. Yeah, and actually talking about that aspect where you've mentioned about the penalties and how you kick it. Yes. I've seen another battle probably that we'll, we are going to see today about Darwin Mukitsa and Kubo. And Kabeni, I guess, who has yeah. been mentioned too. Yes. Uh, I don't know who's the better kicker between the two, or <laughs> do you think that's also going to be a part of the game that many people are not looking at but might win the game for team? Yeah, okay. When it comes to such a match, you, you, you normally coaches, I know normally coaches go for experienced players uh, mm -hmm. to, to, get, to get involved in such a, a critical, critical areas. Yes. Uh, but when you see uh, Darwin Mokhisa with that experience, I might think probably might involve him more in that. Mm -hmm. But Cabras might go for John Kubu because he's a very tactical guy in uh, terms of uh, conversions. Mm -hmm. uh, in any angle, you always uh, make sure that um, it, go, the, 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 it goes in. So probably this is the time now the coaches will be able to see who is better in this particular area and um, on, uh, on, uh, on, on, on their kicks yes. to score and uh, put the team ahead. Good, good point you're bringing that one up because I'm looking at some of the preview of that game and kicking has actually come in into this discussion. And when you look at the kicking as they have actually put it, you look at the Cabras and Tabeni Dukisa who had uh, 103 points past KCB in the regular season when it comes to kicking and conversions because he had 36 conversions, seven penalties and three tries. And uh, the KCB guy Mukiza is the mm -hmm. closest challenger there coming with uh, 49 points where he had 13 conversions, six penalties and a try. So 
that is another area that all teams now will be looking at as also it can be a, a, a decision-making factor for them in the game. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, when, when it comes to the statistics, that particular statistics, yes. we, we, it, it is not, it, that statistic is not between the two teams. The mm -hmm. statistics carries across the, 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 the entire league. Uh -huh. And we have some of the teams that were very weak. Yes. We find that probably mm -hmm. the margin was 55, mm -hmm. uh, 0, or probably 60. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, but when you look at the statistics of the two teams, uh, mm -hmm. it, the, it's, the margin is very close. Mm -hmm. In fact, when the KCB played with um, Cabras, mm -hmm. that match could have gone either side. Yeah. Uh, just that uh, yeah. were able to hold on on their, on their on their, on their win, mm -hmm. and Cabras emerged the winner. And yes. maybe just to pick you up on that, yes. because you talked about playing against weaker teams. Well, Cabras and KCB, we've seen they're the best, really, and they have mm -hmm. the best kind of sponsorship that they're getting in with the resources. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the condition of our league? Are we in a good place that we have two teams that are dominant over the rest? Uh, well, well uh, uh, the work of, as, as we look at for now, you see now yeah, work every season changes and uh, mm -hmm. it depends on how clubs organize themselves and uh, the resources they pull in. But when you look at this particular season, uh, you find that Cabras and uh, KCB were much organized. But competition also came in from uh, Oilers, That's, yes. uh, just a team that came through the championship, mm -hmm. uh, that the third season, and uh, they are also playing well. Uh, mm -hmm. And also Stratmore. Yes, they, they are the relegation. ones they want to get into the final, yeah, yeah. Stratmore and Oilers. Oilers, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it depends on how the teams are, are investing in their, in, in, in how, how the, the management is investing with their team. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there's a time even we saw uh, when you look, go to history, we yes. have Nondis who have been doing well, we have Mwamba mm -hmm. and uh, Mwamba and um, Queens yes. and Impala, they have also mm -hmm. done well. So mm -hmm. it is kind of uh, erratic, mm -hmm. uh, but um, as the season goes on, you find that teams are also trying to strengthen their mm -hmm. squad, they bring in um, uh, coaches, yeah. and uh, also as Kenya Rugby Union, uh, we, we, there's an effort we are putting in in terms of. Uh, a T and E, whereby yes. we, we have these courses, and uh, we've apart from the doing uh, for the coaches, mm -hmm. having gotten to level two, because yes. that's where we are ahead. All mm -hmm. the coaches for this particular team, Division One, even the nationwide, at least them for them to have uh, a level two. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, uh, we also we're going in for the players also, probably mm -hmm. to have um, a level one in coaching, level one in, in, in refing. Yes. I think that that one also be able to uplift uh, our game. Mm -hmm. So uh, the union is playing a bigger role uh, yes. also uh, towards this particular club. And that's what we know you see the margin of this particular club because of the effort of the union in terms of uh, training of these particular coaches and also putting in resources. Mm -hmm. uh, you find that it has brought the league to be very, very competitive. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of our objective and uh, I'm on our strategic plan for Kenya Rugby Union. And you might actually get into a conversation there where also uh, KCBRFC is also trying to join into the club ledger, the, the clubs you have actually mentioned, like Nondis, who had won the Kenya Cup four times in a row. Yeah. So KCB is also trying to get into that yeah. level. They are yeah. pushing it to get into that level. And they, they have to be lucky that some of their best players are back now, the likes of Amonde now going there. Curtis, mm -hmm. Lago, <coughs> Lilako, the captain, is also with them. And those are some of the few names I've mentioned who are coming on to the KCB lineup. Mukiza mm -hmm. also coming on to the KCB lineup there. What do you make of the chances today, finally? Where, where do you put your money? Well, just looking at the teams on paper, I yeah. would really bet it on KCB uh -huh. because they've got that record. Yes. Uh, as you've talked about them meeting in four finals appearances and mm -hmm. them winning them all. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe could be something that KCB look upon, mm -hmm. but then it's not good to underrate Cabras because, as I mentioned before, the last time they lost a game was in December 2019. Yes. And they beat KCB in the regular season, 100% mm -hmm. record in the league. Yes. I think we should be wary of them. But at the end of the day, looking at the team that has been fielded there for KCB, I see lots of quality that could win this game for them. Uh, according to their assistant coach, uh, Dennis Mwanja of KCB, their dream is to win it five times in a row. They have already won twice in a row. This is the third one. Can that dream be true? Winning today also? Yeah, I think it's, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible. <laughs> Very much possible. Yeah, it just yes. depends on the mental strength of uh, the team. Yes. Yeah, it's, that's why I'm saying uh, we have my comment on who is going to win. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> because it's yes. too close to call. Yeah, yes. It's, it's too, too close. Good. Because they are the yeah. top teams and they have top players uh, yes. across the country. Yeah. Uh, these are international players playing today. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's too close to call.
Well, it is the touchline here on Y254, still hanging out with Kikechi Kombo, the Director of Youth and Innovation at the Kenya Rugby Union, and Sami Gitai, who is my co-host today here on the touchline. Big match, it's currently going on, and it's live. You can watch it. Cabras, RFC versus KCB. After 80 minutes, you're going to know who the winner of that match is. Also, for me, I preserve my one, but I'll be celebrating internally to know who the winner of that match will be. But also, still sticking with Mother's Rugby, the Sevens is also coming back, starting with the Vancouver and then Edmond that will be coming later this month. Yeah, yeah, mm. this month of September. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I think Kenya stands a uh, good chance because mm -hmm. we've just come from the Olympic and some of the teams were not able to, were not lucky to qualify for Olympic. Mm -hmm. And Kenya having played at the Olympic, I um, think they have an upper hand uh, in Vancouver and uh, Canada. It's also been a good hunting ground for Kenya. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember they met, uh, they met in the finals with, mm -hmm. um, with uh, in, when they last played in Vancouver with mm -hmm. Fiji. Yes. And they also went again to meet in Fiji in, uh, in Hong Kong. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, Hong Kong and Singapore is cancelled. Yeah. Uh, but the two legs that have been uh, Canada, uh, mm. what rugby has organized uh, be played in Canada. Yes. I think it will be good for the Sevens Rugby. And you find that Sevens Rugby is where the African team has gotten involved so much. It mm -hmm. has two teams playing yeah. at, um, at high stage. And you find South Africa and uh, Kenya have Kenya, done yes. so well because mm -hmm. they have gone the finals. Kenya have won 2016 uh, in, yeah. in, in, um, in 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 Singapore mm -hmm. and South Africa also have been going to the finals unlike yeah. the 15 mm -hmm. where we've um, always Namibia has gone and yes. the other second mm -hmm. second team have mm -hmm. gone and uh, they have always left at the premier stage yeah a, a big one for <laughs> us we are starting with the Vancouver sevens there there's also a chance that Kenya Vancouver is not bad for us we were in the finals and Malimo has talked about mm -hmm. we can also go ahead and win this one big chance for us that we can w get one of these uh, four legs that are coming up. Yeah, it's very interesting. And for me, actually, it was going to be a question in regards mm. to how the team is going to play because we saw them in the Olympics. And I guess we didn't expect the kind of performance they had. We seem to lack some few basics in the team. And the team looked to struggle, especially in closed doors. I, I don't know whether that really affects the team when they're playing behind closed doors or is it a thing that professionals need to handle? Uh, sometimes it's just a bad day, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 because uh, mm -hmm. when you when you see our boys play at the H uh, HSP series, mm -hmm. uh, they okay. There are some legs that they do well, but yes. also it depends with how coaches uh, rotate their players. Mm -hmm. Because you find that some players play two legs and change because of a uh, ten series. It's, it's, it's a long to just to not for to avoid the burnout of uh, the players. Yes, but though some have been consistent in that. Uh, well, uh, we, we, when, when I look at the Olympics, uh, well, it's not been a good hunting ground, but uh, we've, like this time they, they played well and they much improved than uh, how they played in, uh, in Brazil, in Rio. Yes. Uh, having lost to, having uh, won against Ireland, they mm. lost well, the, the yes. pool, but they won against Ireland and also Japan, yes. coming up uh, the ninth place. Mm. I think that was good. Same to Lioness, played mm -hmm. a very fantastic uh, rugby. Yeah. And uh, if we saw how the social media and how those ladies played, yeah. they played very nice rugby. Is it also going to include the ladies' team? In yeah, the but unfortunately, we Lioness didn't qualify. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, didn't qualify. Yeah. Wow. But but um, played against Colombia also here. Big uh, match by the way. Yeah, that one yeah, was for us. Yeah, and yeah. very close. And yeah. in fact, Lioness went ahead. Mm -hmm. Just unfortunate. Um, uh, the last that particular last try mm -hmm. uh, came in and. Um, Colombia were able to to, uh, to manage their game properly and yeah. we ended up lo uh, losing. But it was a big, and this was the first time Lioness have gone to that particular stage. And yeah. I'm seeing uh, come 2025, mm -hmm. because now they have increased to 25, uh, sorry, they have increased to 16 teams in uh, in 2025. Kenya yes. will be there and uh, they're representing. And we've seen how Kenya Rugby Union have organized mm -hmm. already. We have the under 20 girls in mm -hmm. preparation for qualification of the World Cup uh, coming up. Olympic 2024 and World Cup, and uh, Lioness will be there and yeah. represent Kenya very well. A, a big one for us there, but now uh, the Sevens captain, Andrew Amonde, officially retired from international duty. Some of the new faces we'll be expecting at the Sevens stage as we head to Vancouver. Yeah, well, we've, we've seen already the coach have drafted uh, the new players uh, mm. coming in, and that's had been uh, very good uh, for Kenya rugby, where yeah. we have a uh, continuity, where some of the players, um, the mature, come out, and uh, mm. the other one, the recycling of the players. Yes. And uh, we've seen they've brought in young guys like Ben Salim of uh, mm. Nonscript. Uh, yes. He's also come in. We have John Kubu of uh, Cabras, mm -hmm. a very tactical guy, also come in. So mm. we, that momentum of uh, Kenya servants, I mm. see it's going to be maintained uh, as we move forward uh, in, in terms 
of uh, participation in the ISP series. Well, big one. Yeah, but uh, also we have also Commonwealth coming up in mm -hmm. Birmingham, yes. and uh, Kenya will be there. Kenya has done well also uh, in Commonwealth, mm -hmm. and also World Cup in uh, South Africa. Uh, 2022. <laughs> it, it, it's yeah. funny I've brought in uh, Commonwealth because I was with a friend of mine last week and he said that in boxing also we have to go against the Commonwealth teams because that is where we usually shine. Yeah. It seems to be a trophy we can bring home in the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, uh, because uh, Commonwealth is a um, uh, big team there, Australia normally and uh, New Zealand, mm. South Africa and uh, yes. Kenya. Whenever Kenya plays uh, in mm. those particular tournaments, mm. they have done well. Even the World Cup, if I yes. forget about the Olympics, see uh -huh. Kenya well, well, how they have played in the World Cup, going uh -huh. to the semis uh, uh, in Russia in, uh, and also when they play recently, uh, the last one. Yes. Uh, so we've done well, that was in uh, San Francisco in uh, USA. Yeah. yeah. But Kenya has been top. Whenever yeah. they go for World Cup, they know uh, they're going for the big win. Well, big one for us. Uh, finally, I've got to ask you, because we have seen the, the, the Sevens is back with the, starting with the Vancouver Sevens, the Edmond, and then Dubai. And uh, I've got to ask you, are there talks behind there of Safari Sevens also coming up? Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, we, that, that's, that's where we've uh, been our strength, especially yes. for the Sevens team. Mm -hmm. And whenever we have a Safari Sevens, also a Seven Series, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's in the pipeline and yeah. uh, soon probably the union will be announcing on the on that one yes but it's a hope it's uh it's it's our wish that uh, it goes on mm -hmm. uh because now things are normalizing yeah. i think it will be it be okay but it's unfortunate that uh, cape town was cancelled and also uh singapore, singapore. yeah it's cancelled mm -hmm. because that's all been a good hunting ground especially for kenya yeah, yeah. in singapore yes. and also south africa we remember we we, <laughs> we we won against south africa at home and uh, the fans were very disappointed yes <laughs> the last time <laughs> That is where we leave it here on our rugby conversation there. The final between Cabras and KCP is currently going on and we wish any team there good luck. Thanks a lot, Malum Kikechi Kombo, for oh. coming here on the touchline and Sami Gita is still here. Let's go for a break there. When we come back, we'll be talking much more about the fan zone. But let's watch this Champions League winning coach Thomas Tuchel on what he has in store for us and how he actually prepares his teams to win.